Hey there! Thanks for tuning in to Rock and Ricky's Guitar Instruction. I played in rock bands, played in country bands, played in blues bands. Actually studied jazz guitar at the University of Texas in El Paso for about three years. And if there's one thing I can absolutely guarantee that anybody who wants to put in the effort, anybody who wants to work hard enough, can play guitar well enough to at least keep themselves entertained, impress their friends, maybe just bang around on a around a campfire for a while, but at the very least, you can have some fun. I firmly believe that anybody who wants to learn to play guitar needs to play the stuff that they want to play. See, guitar can be an awful lot of work, and... If you want to learn it, then you need to feel like you're enjoying yourself. It's like when you pick a workout when you're working out. If you don't pick something that you enjoy doing, you won't stick at it. Same thing with playing a musical instrument. There's going to be a point at the very beginning where it's going to be kind of tough. It's not going to sound right. It's going to be kind of frustrating. But... If you stick with it, and if you play something that you know that you enjoy playing, eventually you will get better at it. It's... What's the right way to put this? When I was a kid growing up on TV, there was the Roy Clark Big Note guitar book. I learned more, more from Roy Clark's Big Note guitar book then I actually learned from anybody who might be considered a teacher or anything else for the first several years I was playing simply because I had an acoustic guitar and I had Roy Clark's big note guitar book with those little stickers and that was what I had to get started with. When my folks saw that I was able to take things a little further, then sure, they were willing to help me out with lessons. And eventually I went to college and things like that. But eventually, but in the beginning, you have to start trying just to play stuff that you have fun playing. Now we're going to get started here in just a minute. Let me get a few things out of the way. This video is actually going out on YouTube. By the way, if you do like what you see here, please like and subscribe. Also, it is going to go up on my Instagram and on my Facebook page. Now, let's get started with a few basics. These metal bands here at the... are actually what they call frets. They are pressed into the wood, and they're pressed into the wood so that when you press down on the string, it doesn't just make a dead sound, it actually rings. Now, when I say you're gonna put your finger on the first fret, that means you're gonna put your finger in between the nut and that first metal band. If I say put your finger on the second fret, you're gonna put, put your finger on that second metal band. And if I say put your finger on the third fret, you're gonna put your finger on the third metal band and so on and so forth. Now, I actually have a friend with me today to help you learn what the names of the strings are because I believe that's also very useful when we start playing guitar. Now, the names of the strings are E, A, D, G, B, and E. My reference point for this, and I'm gonna use a friend to actually help you see this, is every average dog gets bigger every day. Now, as a reference point, my good friend here, Mr. Moby, 
wasn't always quite as huge as he is now, but every average dog gets bigger every day. Now, we're going to get started with a C chord. You're going to take your first finger, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, and of course your thumb. You're going to take your first finger, put it down on the first fret of the B string, so bigger. You're going to take your second finger, your middle finger, and you're going to put it down on the second fret of the G string, so get, oh, sorry. You're actually gonna put it down on the second fret of the D string, dog. And you're gonna take your third finger and put it down on the third fret of the A string, so average. Now when we do that, I'd like to use what we what I like to call <clears throat> pardon me, ballerina fingers. For this particular chord, it's easier if you get your thumb behind the fretboard and stand your fingers up like a ballerina on their twinkie toes. <laughs> It'll be kind of difficult for a while if you get if your hand bends over a little bit. It won't sound quite as good, but once you stand them up on an attention on the ends of your guitar strings, practice doing it like that. Okay, the next chord we're gonna do is a D chord. That was a C chord. For the D chord, we're going to take our first finger, we're going to put it on the second fret of gets, we're going to put our middle finger on the second fret of every day, and we're going to put our third finger on the third fret. Of bigger. When I was a kid, the, the NBC, those were the big three stations when I was a kid, that was actually the NBC theme, the... Now, we're going to start with a G chord. For the G, we're going to take our third finger. Put it on the third fret of every. Take our middle finger. Put it on the second fret of average and we're going to take our pinky finger and put it on the third fret of every day now i suggest doing it this way because at some point you're going to want to do what they call suspended chords this leaves your first finger finger free to do that suspended chord Now, just with those three chords, you can play 
all the basic old school country stuff. You can play lots of the basic rock stuff that I grew up listening to. And you can have, you can play almost everything in praise and worship music. Destiny's example, this is one of the things that I, uh, I used, well, used to pick around with when I was a kid growing up. I'm your captain, I'm your captain. Okay, my voice is not the greatest at this point, obviously. But here's a here's the thing. I played around all kinds of different songs. Um, learned a lot of CCR. Learned some Uriah Heep. Learned a whole lot of stuff that I could just play around and pick around in my bedroom as a kid growing up. It was a place for me to escape when I was a kid. I just go in my room, shut the door, play guitar. When I played my acoustic, of course, everybody was totally okay with that. When I started playing electric in high school, well, okay, maybe that was a little louder than people would have liked. But here's the thing. It's all about having fun. Now, if you need any help from me, you can definitely hit me up on my Instagram page. You can leave a comment on this YouTube channel. And of course, if you happen to be in the El Paso area, again, I do teach guitar, I teach bass, I can teach basic keyboard, and I can teach virtual as there will be some lessons coming up and a website in the near future. Thank you very much for listening to this. If you listened all the way through, please leave a message about anything you'd like to hear me play, anything you'd like to learn about, and thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.